my family is cursed. There is a curse on my bloodline, and I don't know how many generations it has spent. No one likes to talk about it, but we all know it's there. We all know we are biding time until it is our turn. It works like this. First, you are born and you are ignorant. I would say more like you are innocent. But it only lasts until you know, sometime later, and you become older. And once that happens, then you can never unknown. There is nothing innocent about a secret that can only be kept so long. Eventually, it'll take someone. It's a silent curse, and it's unpredictable. That's what makes it so dangerous. We don't even know that much about it. There is no way to protect ourselves when we are born with it lurking in our blood, slithering in our veins, waiting whenever it pleases to make itself known. My maternal grandma has lived with it the longest. It made her its host when I was young enough and ignorant enough to not be afraid of it yet. It cuddled us and made us think it was different, that she was strong enough to live with it inside her, taking root in a body that it's now its own. It did change her, though. It fed off her. It took pieces of her body that can never be replaced. It forced sickness in her breath and pallor beneath her skin. Then, when we all worried for her, it struck him, my maternal grandfather. It transferred over and lived inside him, secretly biding its time. By the time that we all realized it had eaten him from the inside out, fed off his body, it grew stronger from its weakness, the weakness of my grandfather's body. It took and it took from my grandfather until he had nothing left to gift, until his body was shallow and cold, until his breathing labored and thin began to fade. It killed him slowly, it took its time. It watched while well, we had no choice but to wait for him, or more like for it to make the killing blow. Then it let us forget. It did. It let us forget. We thought maybe it was over, that we could finally breathe and we could finally live without the fear of the poison in our blood. Then it was my paternal grandmother. The tricky thing, however, switching bloodlines. Two cursed families coming together to create one. Sometimes I resent my parents for being so careless, for knowing that I would be the last one left after watching it pick us all off one by one. Hers hit hard and fast. It had waited, and now it was famished. It infected her everywhere, nowhere one day, and everywhere the next. The numbers are falling. One day it will come for my parents, and then it will come for me. I wonder where it will start with me. My maternal grandma has it everywhere. The doctor says it's in her nerves, growing in her organs, eating her from the inside. They pump her full of poison to get rid of the poison. I wonder which of my parents will be diagnosed first. I wonder if they will ever find a cure by the time the cancer realizes it lives in my genes too.